Well, I thought I should give this little generator a run. It's been over a year since I started it. So it's about time I get the cobwebs out of it. A while ago I put a new exhaust on it. It comes out the back here instead of going into the box like it used to. So it's much nicer even though it's got lots of spiderwebs in it. So I'll get the covers open and stick a battery in there. See what happens. Oh, well, it looks like some spiders have been living in here, but overall, nothing much has changed. Should still have lots of diesel in it. Still got to find a new alternator though, because that's dead. Get a rocket cover gasket, because that one weeps. They're just little things here and there. It's not bad for a 1960s engine. I'll just stick a battery in and crank it until the oil pressure comes up and then I'll blow it and then turn on the ignition and see how she starts. Oh well, I've got the battery in. So now I'll give her a crank until the oil pressure comes up and then I'll try and start it. It's the best thing for it. One day I'll finish this off, just got to put a volt gauge in it. And I haven't worked out what I'll do with the other gauge, and I'll change this to a modern temperature gauge. And, uh, with this set up, if you glow it, when you hit glow, it turns on the injector pump. And when it's got oil pressure, it turns on the injector pump. But with no oil pressure, it won't start. So I'll just give it a crank, get the oil pressure up, so it's nice for the bearings when it first fires and then hold the glow on so it starts and then the light should go off so I'll turn the ignition on yeah that battery sounds a little bit weak might have to go get another battery yep another battery right got another battery in there Let's see how this one goes. Much better. Should get oil pressure soon, hopefully. Sitting an awful long time. Probably drain back the filter a little bit as well. There you go, oil pressure. That oil light should come back on. Nice and cold, so the oil is going to be thick. Yeah, it's taking a long time to come back on. Let's give it a minute. Yeah. Awful long time. Maybe the switch got jammed. Gauge is showing a tiny bit of pressure. There we go. Alright. So now I give it a you know, we'll glow it for uh, ten seconds. Try and start it. Yeah, we got smoke. It's pretty cold out here, so I'll go out for a bit longer.
quieter with the covers now. Of course, not nice quiet. run until it warms up. Still happy. 52 hertz at no load, which is good. Temperature just nice, oil pressure just nice. So it still works. One day I'll bring some load out and see what the maximum is 4,000 watts a leg. So I'll probably throw 3,000 watts a leg on it and let it blow the cobwebs out of itself. Well, at least I've given that a run because I felt bad letting it sit for over a year.